back and today we're back with a new potential video series if everyone likes it it's a series where i rate and react to all of your inventories for your investments right you know we've done buy hold sell we've done normal roster day videos we're gonna keep doing them but you can get some advice directly from me and i'll react to your inventories for those of you that don't know what this is this is my discord server man and a lot of these guys they're all members that i'm reacting to their inventories this could be you Consider becoming a member, you'll have access to all of this. Also, you're gonna see some cool features of becoming a member in this video. So to, without further ado, man, let's just start with the video. It's the first one. Hopefully it goes smooth. Let's talk about this guy's inventory. What do we got here? We got Garrett Crochet, 707 Garrett Crochet. I'm gonna go somewhere many of you might not have seen. This is a sheet that Diamond Tier members have access to 24 seven. You can see we got boys in here right now. Now we got a goat in the Discord server that does these projections and he's very, very accurate to a T. So let's take a look. Garrett Crochet, we actually know what he's projected, man. Now I know a lot of these inventories are gonna have Garrett Crochet, which is a W investment because he's projected 86 overall right now. He still is gonna have one more start for the next update period, but Garrett Crochet, man, he's going to be 86 overall, 3,700 stubs per. So that's a W player. Luis Robert Jr. You know, while we're at it, why don't we introduce the other feature? The other feature, man, it's going to be a bot. Now this hasn't been rolled out, but it will be rolled out to diamond tier members soon. And hopefully it understands what Luis Robert Jr. is. Of course, it's not gonna work for him because he's got the weirdest name ever. I don't think, yeah, it's cooked. I'm gonna have to look him up. Luis Robert Jr. His name's got the asterisk. We're not gonna be able to look him up. L advertisement, am I right? You'll see it soon enough. But Luis Rivera Jr., he's got like a billion home runs since back from injury, but he's still only batting 190. You know, it's getting a little bit late for him to kind of recover for the update period, so that's gonna hurt. George Kirby, 151 of George Kirby. I don't mind it, man, don't mind it at all. Now let's show off the bot, right? The bot, what you can do is we created this bot. It will give you every single stat you need to know for a roster update once you put in the player's name. George Kirby, 86 innings pitched, 78 hits, 84 strikeouts, nine walks, 267 batting average with the runners in position, and then a 3.5 ERA, which ERA doesn't matter, but it's nice to know. And then you can come over to the sheet and you can check what he's projected to go. He's projected to kind of stay 84 overall. You can see he is projected slightly positive though. So one more good start and maybe he's going diamond, which is why I don't mind George Kirby. Tanner Houck, let's just go take a look at Tanner Houck. Tanner Houck, Tanner Houck, where is he at on this sheet? Plus 1.2, look at that. Tanner Houck, he's gonna go 84, potentially Kurt Earn Diamond. Now let's see when this was updated. So I don't think this was updated for Tanner Houck after his last start. And I'm gonna guess it probably slightly might have went down, but I don't mind Tanner Houck as a long-term hold for this guy right here. Let's keep looking. Let's go back to the inventory. He's got 102 Christian Yelich. That's gonna be a good investment. He's got to hit for some more power. Joe Ryan's another good investment on this sheet over here. We got Joe Ryan actually projected as going 84 overall, I believe. And that was just updated today. So he's looking good. It's a close call to go 84. Maybe with another dominant start, he goes diamond, but he really would need a deal to go diamond. But plus one's not too bad. Robert Suarez. Robert Suarez is a mediocre mid-tier investment in my opinion. Now we're gonna see a lot of doppelgangers. You know, the members, they're doing some good things as per my advice, as per Stub Sob's advice, good talk buds advice. We're making tons and tons of stubs, <laughs> which you'll be seeing in these inventories. Garrett Crochet, W man, Tanner Howe, good. Jack Flaherty. Now Jack Flaherty, I'm not sure if I'm releasing this video Friday or Saturday, but I know that Flaherty is pitching today after I'm making this video. But as I'm recording this, prior to his start on June 21st, he's looking as an 84 overall. So you guys will probably know how that start will have went by now. But he was an 84 with a dominant start there. He could go diamond with a mediocre start. Could only be going 83. I love Flaherty right there. Royce Lewis. I was all in on Royce Lewis. And a lot of members bought into him. You know, this was before roster. But this was before he came back from injury. I said, God, this guy's coming back from injury. Pull the trigger. And so we did on Royce Lewis. I like him a lot. Paul Skeens. Paul Skeens. I'm not even sure if he's on this sheet. Uh, it doesn't look like it. We... <laughs> Might be a good guy to add. No, no, he is. All right, Paul Skeens. Projected to go 83 overall right now. But if he goes 83 overall, his price right now is around 1,500 stubs. 
If he's an 83 overall, more people are going to buy him up to potentially go diamond. So I really, really like Paul Skeens as an investment as well. But you need some more, my guy. You need some, you need some higher quantities. Uh, I'm liking the quantities on these first three guys. But Royce Lewis and Paul Skeens, kind of low quantity. We got Garrett Crochet, Tanner Houck. Yup, nice. Steven Kwan. Steven Kwan's looking like a diamond. Christian Yelich, we've seen a lot of him. First time we've seen Nick Ludolo. I can't say his name. I still can't do it. But he's looking good. Nick is looking very, very good. He's looking like a plus one right now. I actually like him as a buy. If we can find him on this sheet right here. If we take a look at Nick Lodolo, I said it again, man. 82 overall, you can see. Still a potential 14% uh, ROI to be made if you're buying him up. So I don't mind him as a buy at all. If we keep looking at this guy's investment, he's got, he's got some, all right, this, this is why we have the buy. Who the hell is Tanner BB? Everyone keeps asking me about Tanner BB. I have, you act like I know who the, Frick that is, man. Let's take a look. Hopefully I spell his name right. All right, 81 innings pitched, 71 hits. Pretty good. 99 strikeouts. Who the hell is this guy? 21 walks, and that's really good. Well, all right. Like, look, look at this. Without even pulling him up, I now know that he is insane. 99 strikeouts through 81 innings pitched. This guy is, oh, he's a 77. That hurts, man. 77 hurts. You know, because plus three is steep. He might only go plus two to 79, but I like him as a solid long-term investment for sure. Gavin Williams, we're gonna have to look him up as well, man. That's another guy that, who the hell is Gavin Williams? Let's see if it works. Did I type it in wrong or am I just tripping? Gavin, I don't, there's a weird space there. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I spelled it wrong. Maybe it's glitched, but Gavin Williams, gonna have to get back to you on that one. Spencer Turnbull, Spencer Turnbull, See, I'm a Phillies fan, so I actually, um, <laughs> I actually do, you know, follow the Phillies. So I know that Spencer Turnbull is pretty mediocre, but he's been playing pretty bad as of late. We're also going to have this bot be able to output the last 15 games. He's got 48 innings pitched, 34 hits, 54 strikeouts, 17 walks. Started off the year as a starter. Now he's a reliever. Probably a good long-term hold in case one of the Phillies starters gets injured. Then he'd be the number, he'd be the number five starter in the rotation. So not bad there. Uh, and then you have 46 of this guy, so that is irrelevant. Let's take a look at this guy's video right here. Crochet, Kirby. What are these quantities, my guy? Yeah, you're, you're stretched too thin. I like that. A lot of these guys are a little bit too low in quantity. Remember the 50,000 stub, in, uh, at least 50,000 stubs per investment, all right? That way you're gonna get some bang for your buck. We got colon 68. George Kirby, I like it. Christian Walker, not an investment. Gary Crochet, W investment right there. Uh, we go back down. Joe Ryan's looking good. Christian Yelich. Now, these are low quantity. Keep that in mind. Yelich is solid. Quan is really good. Flaherty, I like that. Logan Gilbert. Logan Gilbert's another guy I want to talk about, man. He's been playing very well as of late, and he's actually looking pretty favorable in terms of his boost. Take a look right there. He's already projected plus one with a good start. Maybe can earn a plus two. So I like, I like me some Logan Gilbert. Jeff Hoffman, I also like him as well. Let's keep looking. Oh, am I gonna have to look this guy up? Who is it? Another Guardian. What's up with you guys? Oh, Kate Smith. Yeah, I like Kate Smith, man. I like Kate Smith, but he's a 76. So to make some bang for your buck, he's gotta go 80. And uh, not too much of a fan of people having to get a plus four. Scherzer, I like. Scherzer's coming back from injury. Good pitcher full of opportunity right there. Ryan Jeffers, you only have 20 of him, so that is irrelevant. Ryan Wu, I don't mind at all, but it's looking pretty solid, I'm not gonna lie. Let's keep going. Who else we got? We got a lot of boys to react to. You guys are gonna get a lot of knowledge. Already seen all these guys. I don't mind Shota. Shota's a bit of a hype type buy. Only 25 Tay Oscar. I don't really love Tay Oscar as a buy right now. David Fry, I would probably sell. Lewis Gill, I would probably sell. Jose Trevino, I'd probably sell. The rest looks fine. Garcia, I'd personally be selling him. He cooked himself in his last start. Already seen a lot of these other guys, which is good. That's good. Daniel Hudson, you know what? Daniel Hudson is actually looking pretty solid on the season, man. Let's type him in. See if this bot knows what's up. Daniel Hudson, there he is. 28 innings pitched, 19 hits, 31 strikeouts, only three walks, man. Look at that. Look at that. It's beautiful. Daniel Hudson's a good, good, good investment, in my opinion, and it's a sleeper. No one's in on him. Bryce Miller, yeah, Bryce Miller's coat, I'd sell him. Uh, Andres Munoz, people keep, people keep asking about him. You know, I'm not, I'm not, too, I'm not too fond of him. The rest of these guys looking good. I like Ryan Pepio as well. He's on the spreadsheet. He could save himself another good start. 
Colin Holderman. I don't know, man. I think there might be better out there. Might be time to sell him. Connor Wong. I, uh, Connor Wong is in for some power. Where's the pop? You know what I'm saying? Everything else looks solid. Ben Lively. Mm. Let me see his overall. 76. He's in no man's. He's dead zoned. Have you ever played a claw machine? And then you would know what dead zone means. I love me some claw machines, man. It means it's, it's impossible. Bryce Wilson. Uh, he had a recent start. You have to look into that. A lot of these bronzes. Like only 200 of these bronzes. Like you think 200 is a high quantity. But really, that's only, what, 10,000 stoves? So it's, it's kind of irrelevant. you got to have 50,000 stoves. I mean, don't be investing in bronzes unless you're going to be sitting there tapping away for a couple of years. Is this Hunter Pence? Hunter Pence is back. Oh, this is interesting. A thousand of Ryan Walker. Who the hell? I don't even know if it's even programmed in the bot. Let's take a look. 38 innings pitch, 28 hits. 49 strikeouts. This guy is the real deal. Wow. This is very impressive numbers. This is a guy that I would be adding to your watch list. You know, if you're watching this video, man, then somebody in the Discord keep pinging me a couple times. Have me put this guy on my radar. He is nice looking. Good investment by you. I like me some Reynaldo Lopez. This guy, this guy's got a kind of a out of the box investment style, but he's looking to make a lot of stuff. I'd sell uh, Garcia though. Everything else, really, really solid. Solid portfolio here. Robert Suarez, I'd probably sell. Say I'd probably sell. Pavetta, I'd sell. Jose Trevino, I would sell. Kyle, the goat, sure bomb. Probably hold. Sell David Fry. Look at these, look at these portfolios. I'm proud. I'm, I'm proud right now. These are, this is great stuff. A lot of the same guys here. Only 100 of this guy. Not worth looking up. Blake Trinan, eh, he kind of cooked himself, but I still don't mind it that much. Uh, especially as a long-term buy, he can definitely recover. Could even go gold this update. If you have enough Justin Steele, we'll cover him. Uh, only 100. Uh, you got 400 Brian Wu, though. So Brian Wu, we'll pull him up in a sec. Justin Steele's on here as well. Steele's looking pretty solid as well with a plus 0.5. And he can actually earn himself gold. Who's the other guy? Brian Wu. Brian Wu's looking like a plus 3 still, even after his last not-too-great performance. So I still like Brian Wu as a buy and a, a good investment right now for sure. Let's keep looking. We're almost about, we're about three three quarters of the way done. Tanner B again. Low quantities, guys. Get the quantities up. Listen, at least 50,000 stubs per player. And if you're rich like me, that number should be like 100K plus per player. It's just the way it has to be. This is another guy right here. Smart investment. I'm liking him. You got a nice investment style, my guy, if you're holding on to him. Blake Trinan, mm, it hurts, but he'll recover. Andres Munoz, everyone keeps asking. I can't type him in. You know what? That's going to be... People with these weird things over their name. Good luck typing them into the bot, my guy. We got Seth Lugo, Jordan Westberg, low quantities. Not liking the quantities there. Christian Walker. Yeah, all right, hold on. Christian Walker's got to go. Bryce Miller has to go. Garcia has to go. Paredes has to go. Hopefully, you have a lot of crochet. Okay, so crochet and yellowish can potentially save the day. But a lot of these guys are outdated, man. Uh, I'd be holding on to Lewis. I'd be holding on to Gilbert. I'd be holding on to Crochet, Kirby, maybe some Shota, but it's low quantity. The rest, goodbye. I'm seeing a lot of Garcia, man. I'd probably be selling myself some Garcia. I don't mind Kyle Bradish at all right now. I think he, uh, even with his injury, he might get a slight boost and it's pretty much risk-free right now. Pretty solid inventory right here. Hunter Renfro, see look, 900 of him. You know, it's, it's still not high enough quantity, but for the heck of it, why not? Let's show off the bot some more. Hunter Renfro. He's gone. Am I, am I tripping? Hunter Renfro. All right, Hunter Renfro. I don't know what happened there, man. But who cares? Not high enough quantity. Let's see if Tyson Miller. Does the bot know Tyson Miller? Let's take a look. There, it knows Tyson Miller, but not Hunter Renfro. Maybe I'm tripping. 26 innings pitched, 15 hits, 25. That's really, really good. Uh, this is a W investment for sure. 2,000. You think it's high enough quantity, it's not. Buy some more, that's a good buy right there. I like it. Keep going, say a Suzuki, probably a sell. Yimi, I'd probably, Jimmy, whatever his name is, I'd probably sell him as well. The rest looks fine. Suarez is mid. Who's this guy, is that Clark Schmidt? Luke Weaver. Some people have been asking about Luke Weaver, man. So it's time to take a look. Also, I'm sure the bot will probably be working on some of these guys if I took the time, but I'm, I'm kind of speed running this, because it's a video. 44 innings pitched, 25 hits, 44 strikeouts, 10 walks. It's 
pretty, pretty mid. Mm. Now this is good. Maybe a clutch boost with that right there. You have low quality anyway. It's kind of, a, I don't see his price and everything. If, if it's around like uh, 200 subs, maybe I'd buy some, but mm, besides that, it doesn't really get me too excited. Uh, get some higher quantity of these golds right here. Kevin Pilar, I don't mind Kevin Pilar, but he has cooled off. This is good, I'm liking this. And yeah, I was right. This is a very, very good uh, portfolio right there. I'm liking myself some Joe Ryan. Just keep taking a look. Mm, I'd probably sell to Oscar and everything else I think looks fine. I'm not even gonna look these guys up because they're a little quantity. And there it is, boys. There it is, the first time we've done it. Reacting, reacting to your inventories. Hope you guys appreciate the video, man. Consider earning access to some of these things by helping support me in the channel and everything I'm trying to do for all of you to make some stuff. Appreciate all your support, man. Uh, especially if you're watching this on YouTube. You know, you guys make this possible. Appreciate all of you. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Make this a series, guys. Show some support. Peace out.